Hello Pisces and welcome to your February 2019 future love reading. <clears throat> this is for Pisces. What is going on with Pisces future love? What is going on with Pisces future love? February 2019. What is going on? What is going on here? We have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So there is some hesitation here with this person. Um, it could be slowing things down a bit. Not sure what those issues are, but we'll pull some tarot and find out. The passion is strong here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. They are very passionate about you, but very cautious with you. All right, so let's see where this is going. Why the caution here? All right, Pisces, this is for your future love reading, February 2019. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Pisces, please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Pisces out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be interchangeable or vice versa. So however that resonates with you, this is for Pisces. February 2019 for their future love reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, all right. So <clears throat> they're holding back a lot of passion here for you, Pisces. Okay. I just want you to be aware of that. And maybe you are too. Uh, we have to be very cautious in this situation because I feel like someone's stuck. Um, someone stuck where they don't belong at the moment. I feel like this person is not telling you everything how they they're feeling because number one, I feel like you're dealing with something right now. Number two, they have a huge fear of rejection here. So they're keeping a lot bottled up. Um, and when I say a lot, I mean a whole, a whole, whole lot right? A lot of emotion, a lot of passion. And yeah, they're being very cautious with you. Um, because of the biggest issue is this fear of rejection. If they come through and they tell you, when you are concentrating on something here, they know that you're concentrating on some um, empty cups here, some, pa some kind of past situation. And they feel like you wouldn't be open to receiving this kind of information at this time. All right? Not only this, but there's this as well. And we'll get to that in a moment. But they, they have this big fear of rejection from you. So we have the Four of Cups here. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Now, how they feel, how they truly feel in the situation with you, what they're keeping all bottled up inside is that they're in love with you. We have the two of cups and this is more water energy. I literally, I have water here. I've got air here, fire here, earth here, Leo here. It could be any sign, right? They feel a very strong connection to you. Are they passionate about you? Yes, they are. Are they in love with you? Yes, they are. We have the Two of Cups. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So strong connection here between the two of you, but they feel like you're dealing with something because the challenge is, you know, not only are you focused on other things right now, but you feel constrained. 
you feel trapped, you're lost in your own head over whatever this past situation is, right? We have the Eight of Swords. This is Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So this is a situation where they I feel like they're waiting for you <clears throat> to get unstuck. That is the challenge. You are stuck somewhere you don't want to be. You are stuck somewhere where you don't belong. You're all up in your head about it and the kind of focus mainly on this issue, right? So if they come in and they just release all this passion and emotion on you, they're going to fear that you're going to run away at this time because your head isn't where it needs to be. That's how they're seeing this. Um, your, your mind, your heart isn't open to receive right now. So now keep in mind the swords are our thoughts and this person can easily walk away from the situation if they want to, right? They can take the binds off, they can take the blindfold off and they can start walking because th these swords don't completely surround this person, right? This is um, a lot of overthinking here. What actions will they take? I feel like they're still going to put the work in. They're still going to be very focused on you and dedicated to you. Right? They really want to work on this. I feel like they're very loyal here to you. And it is because that they are in love with you. We have the Eight of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they are very focused on you. There may be some little pinnacles floating around, but they're really not all that interested in those. They're interested in this one right here. You see that? And that is you. They want to work on this. They want to, they, they would do anything and everything. If whatever you want, whatever you need, they would be right there. This is the kind of energy this is, okay? Now, the outcome right now is they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to sort this out. They're waiting for you to become more open to them. They're waiting. They're waiting to share their emotion and their passion with you. They're waiting to tell you how they feel, right? They've decided that you're the one. Okay, this isn't this isn't the two of wands for them in the more anymore where there's a decision or a crossroads or whatever the case may be. They they're a step beyond that. You see how this man's hand is on this one um, wand here. They've made their decision. They're confident in it. Now they're planning. They're waiting. They're seeing what's going to happen here. They're looking out into the future and um, they want to see you in it. All right, so this is for Pisces. Three of Wands. Please clarify the Three of Wands for Pisces. Future love. Please clarify. Yeah, they're waiting to tell you. What I say? They're waiting to tell you, you know what? I want a new beginning in love with you. Let's do this. Let's do this. They want to share, right? They want to share their emotion with you. But they know right now at this point in time, you see this cup that they want to give? You see that? And then here they are. They know that there's a, a high probability because you're dealing with some, some things right now that it will be rejected. And again, we have this King of Cups energy, more water energy. There's so much emotion here. Um, this is more water, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a water sign, right? This person wants to open their emotion to you. This person wants to follow their intuition and they want you to do the same. They want you to be able to reciprocate these emotions that they're having for you. And they know it's going to take you a minute to be ready to do that. They're willing to wait. They're willing to stay focused. They're willing to work on things and, and stay in the game. All right. And, you know, they, they want you to be able to one day give give your cup of love to them right lots of cups all over this reading all right pisces that's very good that is your february 2019 future love reading um so i go live 
Sunday through Thursday with the daily message around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then um, Friday is the live Love, Luster, Loss, also around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then uh, next week, we'll be getting out the March 2019 monthly readings already. Oh, my God. All right, you all. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. They're just waiting to share their emotion with you, Pisces. All right. Have a great week. Take very good care of yourselves. And God bless.